Searching for a top-rated videographer and video editor? Visit IamShawn.com, spelled S-H-A-U-N, or connect with Sean McAllister on Upwork. Hi, welcome to Movies and Munchies. I'm Lauren Craig. And I'm Biliana Reyes. And today we are reviewing How Do You Know? Lisa's entire life has been defined by softball, but at 31, she is deemed too old to play and cut from the team. After being cast adrift, she begins a fling with Maddie, a charming womanizer who plays professional baseball. About the same time, she goes on a blind date with George, a businessman on the hook for stock fraud. Caught in a romantic triangle with the two men, Lisa ponders the meaning of love. And for our munchies, we are trying out Daryl Lee's soft Australian licorice. It comes in three flavors, green apple, strawberry, and mango. Are you ready to try it? Yeah, let's do it. You feel very hard, like licorice. Yeah. Okay. I took the whole thing in my mouth. Probably the, I mean, they're not that big. <laughs> not like the red licorice. Yeah. Where it's like a little bit more dense. Mm -hmm. Is it dense or like thinner? Like this one's a lot more thicker. Yeah, this one's very thick. I like the texture though. It's very, I don't know what to compare it to. It's like a little bit harder than a gummy bear. Yes. And it's not as chewy. Like you bite it and it bites straight through mm -hmm. it. The only thing I don't like about it is like how it gets stuck to your teeth, but all the yeah. grish gets stuck to your teeth. Very true. I like it. I I thought it was pretty good. I guess I would rate this um probably a four. A four? Yeah, because I really I'm a texture person mm -hmm. and I really like the texture on these and the flavor was good for me. Okay, I think I would rate this a five because I like the texture and then also it comes in like three flavors so you get like yeah. more money for your book. True. <laughs> and it's Australian and who doesn't like Australians? So what did you think about this movie? When I watched the beginning I thought it was really slow. Like I didn't understand why they were doing like the whole baseball thing. Mm -hmm. And then as I watched it I was like oh okay now I see it. like how they wanted them to be like paired up with like her ideal person or baseball partner that like is the same level as her and then have like a totally opposite person. So I liked that they had that dynamic, but for me the movie was just a little bit too slow in the beginning. How about you? Yeah, I did think it was slow as well in the beginning. Um, and then I also thought that the characters were kind of wacky. Like, I thought Paul Rudd's character, George, was extremely wacky, and he was just like this really weird dude, and I get they were trying to make him like quirky and likable, mm -hmm. but to me it was kind of like a little bit overkill. Mm -hmm. Um, and then especially the random, like, secretary that worked at the dad's company. Yeah, the one that was, like, pregnant and then, yeah, like, trying, <laughs> trying to punch people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it was, that part was just, like, oh, she was really weird to me. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like with those kind of characters, they were kind of going a little bit all over far. the place. Yeah, all over the place. But, yeah, so... I agree. I totally agree with It you. was interesting. <laughs> so, in the movie, Lisa is a really talented softball player mm -hmm. and she gets a little older she gets cut from the team um, it was this huge opportunity the all-american baseball team and she gets cut because of her age and she's like getting a little slower and she faces like this really hard rejection where she's like crying in the mirror just feeling awful and sad and she felt like her life is over yeah have you ever felt rejection like this oh my god life? Yes, all the time, especially like being as an actor, like if you really want something and then you don't get that part, like I have that first like one or two days where I'm like, oh, like I suck, I'm horrible at this, and then I'm just like, you know what, it wasn't for me, like just move on and do something else. So I've had that with my acting experience, and I would say also like in real life, like when you want something and then like it runs out, or like when you're like hoping to like go hiking and then COVID shuts it down, so stuff like that. that me this week oh okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah same for me especially like I feel like I told my mom as an actor you're probably your biggest job is getting rejected mm -hmm. because you're gonna get a million no's and then if you get that one yes it's like makes it all worth it mm -hmm. um, but one particular rejection that I remember facing that was really hard for me was when I was first starting out in acting and I really was trying to get an agent and I didn't have, I think I had like one, I had done one sh short film. Um, I had like had my friend do my headshots and everything. I was okay. super new. 
and I had submitted to like all of the big agencies in Texas. I was in Texas at the time, mm -hmm. and I got rejected by all of them. Oh. And I was so hurt. I was like, really? No one even wants to meet with me or anything? <laughs> what am I, am I ugly? Like what's going on? Yeah. Am I really that untalented? And so um, that was really hard, but how I pushed past it and moved on from it, I basically started just stalking all the agencies. Yeah. And I followed them all on Facebook, and then uh, one of them was having this um, like social event, mm -hmm. and I it was like open to the public, so I just went to the event, and I was talking to someone at the bar, and I was like, hey, are you represented by this agency? And he was like, yeah, I said, can you point the agent out to me? And he like brought me over and introduced me, and I was like, hi, I'm Lauren, I'm interested in your agency. Mm -hmm and just was networking there. At first he totally blew me off, but then I guess like he just liked that I put myself out there and mm -hmm. wasn't an asshole. So he was like, <laughs> here's my car and call me later, we'll talk, and I got signed by them. So my first question to you is, have you ever been better at your partner at something? Yeah, so I am really good at like graphic design and a bunch of like computer stuff. I like to edit video. I'm not as good as you, but um, <laughs> I'm like <I'm> still like, <laughs> but you're still better than me. <laughs> but um, all that kind of like artistic side, um, I'm better at than my partner. Mm -hmm. um, but he has strengths that he's better at than mm -hmm. me. Like he's not in the creative industry at all, mm -hmm. but he's super handy and he's like really smart with doing business and everything like that. So. I think it's nice to have that balance because like I have these strengths and he has his own and mm -hmm. if he needs something over here for graphic design, I, I have designed stuff for him yeah. in the past and then at least like, work that balance. Yeah, for sure. What about you? Me, I would have to say that I'm a lot better at organization and administrative work because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Jody do it, but I also know that like if I was to like show him it he would like kind of like not know what to do mm -hmm. which is okay because like all the paperwork i do like with um entertainment is like very how, how do i say it where like there's just a lot of words you have to read over and make sure like you understand it yeah so all like the legal and document side i feel like i'm better at mm -hmm. but he's also like good at like macgyvering stuff and like I don't know, like we balance each other out. Like I always jump with two feet whenever I do something and then he's the one who's always like thinking about it and making sure like it's the right decision. So like we have that, like I'm the crazy one and he's like the more like, maybe we shouldn't have done that. I'm like, yeah. oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so in the movie, uh, George is facing stock fraud from his company that his dad owns. And it comes out in the movie that the whole issue with the stock fraud is actually his dad's fault mm -hmm. and his dad kind of like blames it on George and so George is facing all these charges and the dad kind of asks George to go to jail for him because he uh, if the dad goes to jail he's had previous offenses so he's mm -hmm. gonna have a lot more time but if George goes it'll just be a few years it'd just be a few years just a few years <laughs> so would you go to jail for your parents? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry, mom, but no. Like, I would not go to jail for my mom at all. Like, they got, like, 20 years on us. I'm sorry. Like, it wouldn't make any sense. Like, no. Like, I don't even understand why he would agree to that. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> there. How about you? Would you go to jail for your parents? I was thinking about this during the movie, and I... If it was... George's parent in the movie, like if that's how my parent was, yeah. it would be a hell no because his dad was awful. Yeah, he was he... an awful person. <laughs> so what in the world would even entice me? Like you don't even really love me. You're yeah. trying to do all this sneaky stuff to me. So if it was him, heck no. If it was my mom or dad, I would have to think really hard <laughs> because I love them and you did say they got 20 years on you, but for me, I'm like that means they're older and they're gonna spend their last years in jail. But thinking from your part, I am going to be giving up my youth. <laughs> Even if it is three years, that's a long time. But you also got to ask yourself, like, why are they going to jail? Like, was True. it, like, for a murder? Yeah, I wouldn't go. Okay. They murdered someone. Heck no. 
in the movie, Lisa um, ends up calling Paul like right outside his building, like not with him not even knowing. Have you ever done that where like you went to a friend's house and called them and then like stalled a bit to like go inside? <laughs> I have not done that. You have not. I have not. Okay. No, if I, I have often been like randomly in the area of my friend's house. And I'm like. Since I made the drive over here, I should see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But I always just tell them, hey, I'm in the area, what are you doing? I never, uh, like, act like I'm not there. Oh, my God. I do this, like, some, well, I wouldn't say most times, but sometimes. So, like, mm -hmm. if I'm going to, like, my auntie's house, I'm like, oh, hey, what are you doing? Or, like, if it's a party and we're, like, too early, I'm like, oh, let's go just drive around for yeah. a couple more minutes before we show up. Oh so that's gosh. the extent. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But during the movie, she's in this, like, kind of, romantic love triangle with Maddie and George. Um, were you rooting for her to end up with either Maddie or George throughout the movie? I wasn't rooting for her to be with anybody. First of all, she's like just crazy. She keeps going back and forth with Maddie and George. Like she would go with Maddie and then they get into this huge fight and then ends up with George and then Maddie calls and she ends up going back. Like it's just a whole mess. So I wasn't like yeah, no, I was yeah. being savage with her. She was all over the place. Like, that girl did not know what she wanted at all. Because she was, it's exactly what we said, she was super back and forth. Mm -hmm. But um, for me, I was rooting for her. Like, Maddie really grew on me. Like, he did? Yeah, he did. Because at first I hated him because he was, like, super player. Like, yeah. he had, like, literally, like, a bunch of women's clothes. He's like, what size are you? Here you go for all the women that sleep over and all these toothbrushes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this douchebag. But then, like, I guess in the middle I started liking him because he was just this, like, really dumb, lovable guy. And yeah. you could tell he was, like, kind of trying. Like, he was messing a lot of stuff up, but he, you could tell he cared about her. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he seems like he's trying and he cares about her. So for most of the movie, I was rooting for him and her. But then... At the end, we found Lily George. No, at the end, I wasn't rooting for anybody because I didn't like George. I thought his character was too charactery mm -hmm. and just kind of like annoying and weird. Um, and I'm weird. There's nothing wrong with weird people, but I didn't believe his weird oh, as a character. He was character. too out there. Yeah, he was like too out there. Too and it just didn't seem realistic to me. Like, they didn't seem like they really matched. Like, I felt like her and Maddie matched better, but Maddie was just like. At the end, he was just, like, too much and, like, trying to control her and everything. Okay, so what would you rate this movie? Okay, so this was a really hard decision for me because I love Reese Witherspoon, and she's the reason why I got into acting after I watched Legally Blonde. Amazing. So, it was really hard, but I would give it a two. Just because I didn't like the characters, I didn't like how she was, like, acting. Like, I thought she was just, like, all over the place. And, like, I didn't feel like I felt, like, a sense of closure after I watched it. I was just like, what the hell? Like, what is this girl doing? How about you? What would you rate it? Um, I also rated it a 2. Hey! It's the same rating. <laughs> um, same thing. I didn't really like the characters very much. I thought that Reese's character was, like, way too over the top, kind of neurotic. And then, like I said, Paul Rudd's character was very weird and strange. And then I just felt like they were very kind of, like, one-dimensional characters. And um, the storyline for me was kind of interesting. Like, I liked the whole corporate fraud thing and how that was going on, and they both had things going on, and they kind of came together in a mess. So I thought that was kind of different for a rom-com. And I love rom-coms. That's the only reason this got two stars yeah. instead of one. Uh, so, yeah, just kind of eh. Thank you so much for watching Movies and Munchies. Make sure you go watch How Do You Know. I watched it on Netflix, and I'm sure it's on several different platforms. Yes, and also try out Daryl Lee's Soft Australian Licorice. If you haven't tried it out, make sure to try it. See you next time. Bye. Bye.